On 26 May this year, 22 people perished in an accident by Gaga bus in which they were traveling at Kiriandongo. Barely two months, the same bus company was involved in another accident in which one person died near the same spot. Those which have been in operation were inspected and the process of vetting the drivers was still ongoing. Unfortunately, one of the buses which had just been uh, inspected uh, was again involved in an accident recently, I think two days ago. With an alarming safety record, government was left with no option but to suspend the company for one month. The, 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 the question now was there must be something maybe deeper that needs to be investigated in the company. So what the board has done now is to halt all operations for Gaga for the next one month. And we are going to get specialized investigation into this operation of the, of the, of the, of the company. The Commissioner for Transport, Regulations and Safety, Winston Katushabe, told the NTV that preliminary investigation into the Friday Gaga accident at Kiriandongo points to reckless driving. It shows that the bus was actually speeding in most of the points, uh, from point A to point Katushabe also says all Gaga drivers will have to undergo refresher training before they are allowed back on the road. We would like to know how even Gaga repairs his, uh, his buses. Is a workshop properly equipped to deal with this big freight? would like to go further and find out whether even these drivers have proper appointment letters. He also revealed that government will soon amend the Traffic and Road Safety Act to introduce a new electronic digital monitoring system of all buses including passenger vehicles like taxis. From our review we found there have been challenges and in one of the areas which cabinet approved was actually to come up with the, a new law to repeal the current speed governor or the speed limiter. Uh, the speed limiter uh, helps now to track the speed of the vehicle uh, using either GIS or GPS. It will actually locate the point. It can even tell you that this vehicle, for example, was speeding uh, either the 90 kilometers per hour, 100 kilometers. Now this one, the difference between the other one and this one is that this one will be monitored by government, even the owner. So it can be Ministry of Works, Transport Transitioning Board itself, which is regulating, you'll have police. This system is operational in Tanzania. The new law will also regulate the new technologies in the transport sector, like the use of Uber. You know, currently Uber, you, you, send, you have an app on the phone, you, you send the driver to come. But now, what, what if the, 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 the passenger is mugged? Who is responsible? So as government, we must know who is this Uber. You'll find maybe your aid does not collect taxes from Uber. Among the proposed amendments in the bill, drivers who have caused death of a person in an accident will also face tougher punishment of imprisonment instead of paying fines. So if, for example, it is investigated beyond reasonable doubt that actually Jingo, you were driving and killed this person deliberately or intentionally, then you will go for what you call custodial sentence. And if, the, if it says five years, you will serve five. So you will not have, uh, the, the, the court will not have any discretion of saying maybe, because you see now currently the law says you can serve maybe one, two years, or pay so much, or three years maximum. Or, so this time it will be maximum. Currently, there are about 900 buses operating public transport in the country. Jingo Francis and...